Hey everyone, it's Matt here. I know it's been three weeks, so uh, I guess I'm pretty bad at this whole YouTube and thing. Uh, anyways, despite popular belief I was not eaten by a grizzly bear, what ended up happening was I broke my phone out in the bush there, so I had to come back to Calgary to get that fixed. So I decided to make my first video private, and that's for the sole reason that I don't want to advertise this place. The locals, they like me, but they're not a big fan of tourists. And I found something really special, and I'm willing to share it, but not with the world. It's too good for that. So I spent three weeks in the bush in BC, and I'd love to say I was just, you know, playing guitar worshiping and fasting and doing all the spiritual stuff, but that wasn't really the case. More like I was working 14 hours a day trying to build something nice. Once I got into town, I spent the first two or two and a half days driving around, ripping up back roads, uh, exploring, getting to where I could just so that I could find the best campsite around. And I think I did. As much as I'd love to show you all the view from my site, I'm going to hold off on that and leave that up to your imagination. And I'll just say that it looks like a postcard. My camp is truly a place where you get to see the glory of God on display and you get a picture of who he is. So I just decided to do a whole 18 kilometers of off-roading, about half of it you needed a 4x4, I don't know how I made it, I'm not sure if I can get out, at least I got some beautiful views at the end, but still I found no campsite. This makes me very sad. This is what it looks like to be on the back roads out in the mountains. I ended up going all the way up to a heli ski lodge there, and the maintenance guy was sitting there and he's just laughing, wondering how I even made it to the top. Yay, and that's the last bend. I made it out. Didn't even have to use the ratchet straps. Yeah. This is what the car looks like after an adventure there. If you're going to spend all day ripping around the back roads, it's best to have a sunroof so you can see what you're doing. Shh. Don't tell nobody where I'm putting my crap. Darn mountains getting in the way of my adventures. I just saw a grizzly bear. Ha! Maybe I went too hard there. Ended up snapping the sway bar link off the shock. At least this is a pretty good spot to be stuck. I wasn't able to get the part off. That part's a bugger to get off even if you had a hoist in a shop. What I did was I tied it out of the way. Always recommend keeping some 20 gauge tie wire on you. You can fix anything with that stuff. Well, that was a miserable 50 kilometers. I had to stop 30 times to tie it back up and it took me three hours. Anyways, I made it to the hardware store and if you can't tie it up, you can cut it off. Oh, victory in Jesus. Sway bars are for suckers. Hey, in case you guys missed it, I've been wearing the same clothes and haven't showered for like three days. I smell really bad, and it's time for a shower. There'll be no peep show this hour on YouTube. Just want to show you how it works. Hot. Very hot. If you thought that was easy, you'd be wrong. The water's way too hot, air's way too cold, and mosquitoes are after you like no tomorrow. All the while, still had to keep the fire going for dinner. Some of the locals came and gave me a show. Makes the mountains look pretty cool. <laughs> There's the tarps. Now wouldn't it be nice if they are just hanging from the trees already? Just tied all my knots, now it's time to raise the tarp. <clears throat> yeah. This is how you haul a load with the old Saturn. Good thing there aren't no scales on the way home. Man, that was a long day. Got all my tarps up and all firewood piled for the next couple days of rain, hoping that the tarps hold up and keep the water out. Mmm, time to marinate some steaks, get the two day on. Yeah. It's going to be
gonna be good. I haven't exactly been alone out here in the wilderness this whole time. So here's my friend Janelle. She came out from the city to help for a few days and I'm real grateful for that. This morning I lost four eggs in the fire while I was trying to cook. So I'm out here on the beach trying to pick some better stones. Just like that, perfect. And this has to be the best darn cooking stone I've ever seen. Oh goodness. Putting her to work now. Oh you can hear it. That a girl. This road is too muddy. We are not getting out like this, so I'm gonna move some rocks up to the front. Get the weight over the drive wheels. my redemption for breakfast and losing my eggs. Mm. Hear the fire. Alrighty, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Not because I ran out of videos, but because I'm tired of sitting in the city, I wanna go back to the mountains. So take care all.